Hello, good evening to everyone. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Abel. Hello, Ana. Hello, Flor, Ramos, Abigail, Ortiz. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Hello, I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. And how are you? I'm fine. Oh, that is excellent. That is good to know. Hey, Jessica Hernandez, how are you? Hi, teacher. Mm, that is great. Very good. So, good evening again to everyone. My name is Ever Nieto, and I'm going to be the facilitator uh, for this uh, English course. So, nice to meet you to everyone. Welcome to this class. I hope that we have a great time, right? Learning this uh, beautiful language, which is English. We are going to do a lot of activities and we are going to practice a lot, right? Um, we are going to learn as many things as we can in this in this English course, right? So I hope that you participate in the activities, that you practice in the conversation, that you practice with your classmates, and we are going to have a great time, right? Practicing. If you are just listening, just watching, so you are going to get bored, right? So it's better to get involved in the class. Um, so I'm going to ask you that, right? participate, participate, say me, I want to participate, I want to read that, I want to say that, I want to practice, don't worry, right, if you make mistake, right, in this class we are learning, and I don't have any problem, right, if you make mistake, right, I am here to help you to correct those mistakes, so don't be afraid of that, so I hope that you participate a lot in this class, right, that is an important part of this class. Maria Martinez, welcome to the class. So before to start this course, there are some generalities that we need to know, right? Um, algunas generalidades que necesitamos conocer primero, ¿verdad? And let me see, I have a message here. Just a second. Mm, okay, and just a second. I'm gonna send the link of this to one of our classmates. Well, uh, tell me, do you have any question before we start the class tonight? Questions? Si no hay preguntas, entonces vamos a presentarnos. We are going to introduce ourselves. Anybody want to start? Do I have any volunteer tonight? Let's introduce ourselves. Presentémonos a nosotros mismos. Anybody wants? Um, okay, nobody wants to participate. Let's introduce yourself, right? So you say, my name is, I am 34 years old, I live in, and I like, digamos, tres cosas que nos gustan, ¿verdad? Que nos gustan. So I like uh, pizza, I like cars, I like, what? I like soda. Vamos a decir tres cosas que nos gustan. So let's start in this activity. Mm, anyone in here to start? Hello, Hello. Maria. Hello. Um, is it okay if I call you just by your name? Let's say, for example, Aida, Jessica, Ana, Maria. Is it okay? Or do you need yes. a Miss Aida, Miss Jessica? Which one do you prefer? I can start. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you. Do you want to start? So let's do it. Introduce yourself. So, uh, me, mi nombre. ¿Qué más? And your age, if you want. 
su Pero nombre. Cosas que me gusta. Yes, yes. Okay. Hello, teacher and classmate. My name is Mary Martinez Acevedo. I live in Santa Ana. I work in the community in Santa Ana. I like play basketball. I like travel. I and and like read book. Okay, that is great. Very good. So she say, I like reading books. I like traveling too. That is great. And I like basketball. Okay, that is a great sport. Thank you so much, Maria Martinez. So anybody, anybody want to participate? Anyone? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Thank you so much, Abel. So let's listen, Abel. Okay, hello. Good evening, everybody. My name is Abel Martinez. I like to learn um, English uh, first. Second, I like to play video games, uh, video games with my son. Uh, um, and I like to watch some series or TV. It is a to see you again, the classmate, and you do the English. That was excellent. Nice to meet you, Abel. It's very good. So he likes video games and also he likes with his to play with his friends, right? That is nice. So welcome to the class, Abel. Uh, anybody? Anybody wants? Hello. Hello, Anna. Good evening. So I doubt it. Good night, everyone. Uh, my name is Ana Gabriela Barrera. I, I prefer the phone that. And I like to, to watch podcasts in YouTube. And I like to travel with my family. And I like to spend uh, time with my family on weekend. And I live in Ciudad Delgado. That's all. Okay, excellent. So you prefer to be called Gabby, right? So Gabby, welcome to the class. Um, it's yeah. nice to meet you. I can see that you like a lot of interesting things, right? And that is great. So the last one, anybody? Just to finish this part of the class, introducing ourselves. Anybody wants? Just one. Quien salva la clase? Quien salva la clase? Any volunteer? Me. Thank you so much, Aida. Good Hello, good evening. I am Aida. Aida Martinez. I live in San Salvador. Um, I like to the, listen to music. Um, I don't like cook. Neither um, do I. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. That, that's okay, that's okay. I, that, thank you so much. It's very good. So she doesn't like to cook. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Welcome to the class. She doesn't like to cook, right? Um, okay, anybody in this class like to cook a lot? O sea, a mí me gusta cocinar para toda la familia. Nobody likes to cook? Ah, I can see. Bueno, no vamos a cocinar en esta clase. Qué lástima. No nos gusta casi a todos. <laughs> that is great. So, welcome to the class, right? So, let's start with some generalities of this course. We are going to read the following presentation. Let me show you. 
And then you, um, let me see, what is the presentation? Uh, here is it. Okay, I'm sharing with you the presentation. So let me know, please, if you can see it. Can you see the presentation? You say, yes, teacher, I can see the presentation. Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you. So let's start with this important information about this English course, right? Let's talk about the task and evaluation. So, es necesario tener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Eh, el objetivo es que todos los que están inscritos, ¿verdad? O sea, todos ustedes logren completar este curso, que no perdamos a ningún estudiante en el proceso. Así que les animo, ¿verdad? A que esta aventura que hemos empezado el día de hoy, pues la logremos terminar. Y el mínimo para alcanzar... Eh, el diploma, ¿verdad? Es el 80% en todas sus tareas y evaluaciones. Eh, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda, ¿verdad? Trabajar en ellas justo después de la clase. Pero justo después de la clase ya es también noche, ¿verdad? Necesitamos descansar. Pero entonces en el tiempo que usted tenga libre, ¿verdad? Por ahí le quedan unos 15 minutos después del almuerzo. Um, y ahí puede aprovechar ¿verdad? y trabajar la plataforma. Puede hacerlo en su teléfono, ¿verdad? No necesita andar su computador. En el teléfono puede adelantar las actividades de la plataforma. Todas las tareas y los temas que ya estén cubiertos deben de estar completados antes de cada viernes, ¿verdad? A la medianoche, ya que ese registro se envía en Safor cada semana. Así que no podemos atrasarlo. No podemos atrasarnos en el trabajo. Semana a semana tenemos que ir cubriendo estos contenidos. Uh, el material de apoyo, ¿verdad? Será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Uh, ahora está en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Este material de apoyo ya le voy a mostrar dónde lo pueden descargar. Si usted gusta, lo puede imprimir, ¿verdad? O lo trabaja así como PDF, como archivo PDF en su computador. Y hay algunas actividades que le va a tocar escribir. Bueno, hay que ir resolviendo también ese material de apoyo para que vayamos comprendiendo mejor los contenidos y vayamos aprendiendo, que es el objetivo de cada uno de nosotros. Acá está dividido el trabajo en la semana número uno, que es esta semana que comenzamos el día de hoy hasta el día jueves. Tenemos que trabajar en la sección uno y sección número dos. En la semana dos, sección tres y el midterm. Vamos a tener nuestro examen, ¿verdad? De medio curso ya la próxima semana. En la semana 3 se trabaja la sección 4. En la semana 4, we are going to work in section 5 in the final exam. La sección 5 y el examen final. Um, así está dividido el trabajo, ¿verdad? Así es como lo vamos a hacer durante estas cuatro semanas que vamos a estar en este curso. Así que es importante que vayamos al día, ¿verdad? En la plataforma para que al final pues no nos toque desvelarnos unas dos noches para completando todos los ejercicios de la plataforma y me van a estar escribiendo como a las dos de la mañana, mire cómo es este ejercicio, mira que no me funciona esto. Entonces, uh, mejor llevémoslo así, ¿verdad? Uh, como está eh, dividido en las semanas el trabajo para que podamos al final, ¿verdad? Tener ese resultado favorable que todos queremos, que es más del 80%. Eso es lo que nos piden, pero que nuestra meta sea completar esa plataforma, dejarla al 100%, ningún, que, que no nos falte ningún ejercicio. Um, normas de la clase, botón silencio, ¿verdad? cuando hay alguna explicación o un compañero está participando, asegurémonos de que nuestro botón esté en silencio para que no escuchemos las interferencias. Uh, a veces pasan las motos, los carros, y ya no escuchamos qué dijo el compañero. Entonces, eh, asegurémonos ¿verdad? de tener nuestro micrófono silenciado. Eh, su nombre completo, por favor, eh, en su cuenta, ¿verdad? para poder llamarlo por su nombre. Eh, cámara encendida. Tiene que tener su cámara encendida. Entiendo ¿verdad? que algunas veces por la señal del internet, pues no va a ser posible. ¿verdad? A veces se viene la lluvia y 
para mejorar la conexión tenemos que apagar nuestra cámara. Y, pero en las reglas dice que su cámara debe estar encendida en toda la clase. Participación activa, esta parte es muy importante, ¿verdad? tiene que participar en todas las actividades, en las conversaciones, en las actividades con sus compañeros. Eh, uso, de, uso del chat, ¿verdad? Tiene ahí el chat a la mano. Si tiene alguna duda puede escribir, ¿verdad? O puede levantar su manita virtual para tomar la palabra. Y siempre mantener el respeto en, con el tutor, con los demás compañeros. Eh, de que nos vamos a equivocar, de nadie es perfecto, entonces siempre mantengamos el respeto, ¿verdad? Estas serían las normas de la clase. Como un resumen, asistencia al 80% de las clases, eh, su avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje debe de ir al día, el inicio de clases es este día, ¿verdad? el horario establecido eh, de 8 a 9, ¿verdad? la duración de la clase de 60 minutos, Pueda que nos pasemos unos cuatro o cinco minutos, no hay ningún problema ¿verdad? si nos pasamos más. Trabajar en los ejercicios de la plataforma, ¿verdad? tenemos que ir trabajando esos ejercicios, tiene que ir al día para que pueda obtener su diploma sin ningún inconveniente al final del curso. Uh, do you have any question until this moment? ¿Dudas? ¿Preguntas? This is the moment. Nobody has a doubt or a question. Eh, questions? Aida, Ana, Maria, Abel, Jessica, Flor, Maria. No, okay. no, Kevin, no, thank you. Abigail. No questions. No questions. No question. no question. Okay, no question. so if everything is clear, Okay, that is great, right? So let's start with the first topic today. So for today, we are going to learn the question, how often do you? How often do you? Uh, that means, con que frecuencia usted? Okay, then we are going to learn some activities. Let's say, for example, play soccer. Play soccer. Do you like to play soccer? Do you like to play soccer? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, okay, Jessica said yes. Abel, do you like to play soccer? Yes. Thank yes? You. Ah, okay, that's great. What about swim? What about swim? Do you like to swim? I like, but I can. Ah, okay, I like, but I can. Yes, okay. I like, teacher. Ah, okay, that is great. What about ride your bike? Ride your bike? Ride a bike? Yes, I love it, Raya Bike. Ah, okay, yes. that is excellent. Uh, what about, let's see, dance? Do you like to dance? Yes. Yes, do you like to dance? Okay, that is excellent. And what about sing? Do you like to sing? Oh, okay, you say it's also all right. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Sometimes, cuando me estoy bañando, you say I'm singing, right? Eh, cantan su canción favorita. Eh, then, mm, how, the question now is, how often do you do that activity? ¿Con qué frecuencia hace esas actividades? Now, there are some phrases to talk about frequency, right? Hay algunas frases, ¿verdad? Hay algunas palabras que necesitamos para decir con qué frecuencia hacemos la cosa. Se llaman frequency adverbs. Frequency adverb and phrases of frequency. Eso es lo que vamos a aprender el día de hoy. Uh, do you remember some of them? ¿Se acuerdan de algunos de ellos? Frequency adverbs. Yes. Yes, maybe hardly ever. Excellent, Maria. That is one. Hardly ever. That is one of these ones. Anyone remember some of these words? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes is another one. Sometimes, hardly ever. Any other? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Imelda. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Uh, okay, Claudia, I understand your situation, so don't worry. So, 
there are like seven words, right, that we need. In usually, we have usually, often, always, and when I guess. Until. Of, um, until. Um, you say until. 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 It's um, until. No. Okay. Um. Okay. That is not a frequency adverb. Okay. But okay. Let's see. Sometimes. Sometimes yes, we have something too. But let's start with this class, man. Bueno, y la que decía antes, pero nunca le voy a okay. hacer caso de decir. How do you say nunca? Okay, thank you. How do you never, say nunca? Never. Ah, never, 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 ¿verdad? Never. never, ¿verdad? Y al final dijo que sí. Y usted dijo nunca. Say never, never right? Perdón. <laughs> okay, so never, never, nunca. So let's start. Let me share with you the following presentation. And we are going to continue with this. So here we go. This is the topic for today. How often do you do exercise? Can you please read this question with me? How often do you do exercise? Enciendan sus micrófonos. Vamos a leer el tema del día de hoy. Turn off your microphone, please. All together, todos juntos. How often do you do exercise? How often do you do exercise? How often do you do exercise? Okay, excellent. How often do you do exercise? So, welcome to the, the intermediate two course, right? And let's start. And this is the topic again, and this is the lesson objective for today. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using advert of frequency. So look at this activity. Oh, cook. Awesome. Cook. This is cook. What about this one? What is the pair? Uh, run. 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 Yes, correr. Run. And this other one? Do exercise. Do exercise. Do exercise. exercise. And also lift weight. It could be lift weight. Levantar pesas. Do exercise. Then let's see this other one. Swimming. 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 And this other one. Soccer. Play soccer. Play soccer. Okay. So how often do you cook? How often do you cook? How often do you swim? How often do you play soccer? How often do you run? How often do you do exercise? Vamos a aprender a responder esta pregunta. But before to learn the phrases and words, we are going to listen to this conversation. So I hardly ever exercise. Mm, ese es el adverbio que me I hardly ever exercise. Then, casi nunca me ejercito. That is the meaning of this sentence. So, listen to this conversation. Pay attention. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, new vocabulary in this conversation. There is a word there that you don't know. Oh, God. Couch potato. That's a potato. That is an idiom, right? Couch potatoes means um oh couch potato is the phrase that people used to call people who used to rest a lot on the couch. It's para definir a las personas que pasan mucho en el sillón, verdad? O que no uh -huh. hacen ejercicio. That is a couch potato. That is the meaning of this idiom, touch potato. 
Any other word? So look at the first one. You're really fit. You're really fit. What is fit? What does it mean? Fit. You're really fit. Paul, do you exercise a lot? So what's the meaning of fit? It means like estar en forma, ¿verdad? Una persona it's, que se le nota. Ok, great, que se le nota, que va al gym, ¿verdad? Um, then, do you exercise a lot? Is the other question. Well, I almost always get up early. Look at this word, always. That is a frequency oh. adverb. I almost always get up early and leave way for an hour. Casi siempre. That is the frequency adverb. Always means siempre. I almost always get up early. Me levanto temprano and I leave way for an hour. Levanto pesas por una. Hora. Seriously? Yeah. Sure. And then I often go in line skating. We have another frequency adverb in this sentence. And it is often, I often go in line skating. Con frecuencia voy a patinar. Yeah. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? Again, I have this question. Con que frecuencia te ejercitas así? About five minutes a week. About five minutes. Uh, sorry, about five times a week. Cinco veces a la semana. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. Then I have here another frequency advert. Hardly ever. I usually just watch TV in my free time. And I have another frequency advert in this other sentence. Usually, usually, I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach to tell you. And then he, she used the phrase, right? Hatch potato. Then listen again, the conversation. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay. Any other question about vocabulary in this conversation? If no, I need two volunteers for tonight. Anyone want to participate? Two volunteers to practice this small conversation. Yes, two, yes, two. <clears throat> okay, I have Abel and any other volunteer to practice with Abel? What person? I'm sorry, I don't listen because it's raining here. Hello? No? Hello, Abel, can you listen to me? By now, he, yes. Um, okay, very good. Um, what kind of song? So, Mary? so um, any other volunteer who say me? Me. Ana Gabriela, thank you. So, Abel and Ana Gabriela, can you please start? So, uh, Ana Gabriela, you are going to read Mary's part. And okay. Abel, you are going to read Paul's part. So can you please start? Okay. okay. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get out early. And I leave way for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? I hardly ever I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I I am a real coach potato. Okay, that was excellent. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much for your help in this. You are doing great. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much. So any two volunteers, the last two volunteers, who is going to say the class? Yeah. 
Just the volunteers. Anybody? Volunteers or victims? Voluntarios or victims? Sacrifice. Okay, okay I have emailed that Xiomara and anybody wants to participate with her? Me. Voy a tratarlo. Okay, yeah, very good. That is great. So we have Flor, Ramos, and Imelda. So Flor, you are going to read Mari's part and Imelda, you are going to read Paul part, Paul's part. Can you please start? You really feed Paul the U.S. Sarsi alone. Well, I almost early and a large big for in war. Seriously, two and then often go. I start. Wow, how often do you start like that? About five times. What? What about you? About you? Oh, I am. Highly every searching, yeah. I am usually use what TV in my free time. I guess I am and right house potato. Excellent, thank you. Very good try. Okay, that was almost perfect. Just some small correction in some words, like let's say, for example, exercise. Do you exercise? Exercise a lot. Do you exercise a lot? Then in other words, lift weight. Lift weight. I lift weight for an hour. Okay. And guess. We say guess. I guess I am a real couch. Y la última, potato. Couch potato. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay. The rest, the rest was perfect. Very good job. Okay. Very good try. So let's continue. And now, yes, let's go to the. Okay, let's go to the phrases, right? Advent frequency. How often do you exercise? That was the question, right? How often do you exercise? So I have the two ways to answer this question. And the first one is saying the following phrases, right? Or frequency. Every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, often or much. Very often, very much. So let's see, I leave weight every day. So it, this phrase means that todos los días, right? Yo levanto pesas todos los días. I leave weight every day. Then I go jogging once a week. Once means una vez. Once, once a week. Twice a month. I play soccer twice a month. Twice, dos veces. Twice, two times. And then I have three times. Después voy contando las veces. Digo, three times, four times, five times, and so on. I swim about three times a year. A solo tres veces van a dar en un año. Y puedo utilizar very often, very much. I don't exercise very often. No me ejercito muy seguido. O no me ejercito mucho. Often and much. And also I can use the frequency adverb. Which are the frequency adverbs? We have often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never in these examples. So you can say, um, pero cambia la posición, ¿verdad? Si utilizo las frases de frecuencia como every day, once a week, twice a month, three times a year, estas van al final de las oraciones. Si voy a utilizar los frequency adverbs, van después del sujeto. Uh, look at this. I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. Ah, oh, look at this. Observen el asterisco en esta oración. Hay una explicación extra. Sometimes puede ir en tres posiciones diferentes. So I have hardly ever, hardly ever watch TV. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Now, 
existe otra pregunta para saber a, a, si hace estas actividades alguna vez. Do you ever, is the question, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Do you ever play soccer? Do you ever cook? So we can use do you ever para saber, ¿no? ¿Alguna vez juegas fútbol? And you say yes. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? ¿Alguna vez ves televisión en la noche? You say yes, I often watch TV after dinner. Siempre veo televisión después de cenar. O you say I sometimes watch TV before bed. Algunas veces veo televisión antes de dormir. O you say I hardly ever watch TV. Casi nunca veo tele. And no, I never watch TV. That is the last, the last one. No, yo nunca veo televisión. Do you have any question in this part? Questions? If you don't have questions, let's listen to the pronunciation of these uh, examples and we're going to practice later. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. Okay, any volunteer to read the answer for how often do you exercise? Who wants to read the sentences? Anyone? Anybody wants to try? Come on, let's participate. Anybody, anybody? Maria Magdalena, okay, thank you. Can you please read the five sentences there? Okay. How often do you exercise? I lift weight every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Thank you so much. That was very good and very good pronunciation and intonation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your participation. Uh, Imelda, do you want to try? Let's do it. Uh, do you never watch TV in the every, evening? Evening. I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch for bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Wow, amazing job. Thank you so much. Anybody wants to try? Any other volunteer? Anyone? Me. Me. Thank you, Aida Martinez. Let's start. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes. I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I have ever watched TV. No, I never watch TV. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Very good participation. Thank you. And then let's go with the next thing. Um, after the frequency position and centers are. Let's see what How often do you exercise? I lift weight. Okay, sometimes, right? Sometimes tiene una excepción. Sometimes puede ir en diferentes lugares dentro de la oración. I sometimes go to a dance class. Puedo ponerlo antes del verbo. I sometimes go to a dance class. O puede ir al inicio de la oración. Sometimes I go to a dance class. O la tercera opción sería ponerlo al final. I go to a dance class. Sometimes. Ok. 
¿Ok? El resto de los adverbios así. Subject, adverb y frequency, verbs y complements. He never plays baseball. We always go for a You hardly ever sing. Any volunteer to package within these three sentences? Who wants to tell me? Anybody wants? Just one. Anybody? He never plays baseball. We always talk about We have never seen him. I think it's about Samara. Can you please stop? Let's do it, Samara. Can you please? Hey, a verb with odd frequency position in sentences. It's, it's a verb with odd frequency match verbs must see. He never plays basketball. We always go for run. run. You hardly ever swing. Thank you very much for telling this. Very good. So, baseball. He never plays baseball. I think you baseball. We always go for a run. We always go for a run. We hardly ever swim. Swim. Swing. Yes. Swing is the person that we hardly ever swing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now it's time for you to practice. Look at the following skill. We have practice in school, go jogging, lift weights, swim, play soccer, go to the gym, watch TV, check your cell phone. So how often do you how often do you practice sport? How often do you go jogging? How often do you get weight? How often do you swim? How often do you play soccer? How often do you go to the gym? How often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? And how often do you check yourself? Any volunteer? Let's see the program. How often do you practice sport? And then I have there the frequency points. Always, usually, often. Probably ever and never. So you have to tell me the same. Let's see, for example, I always practice school. I usually practice school. I often practice school. I sometimes practice school. I never practice school. I never practice school. So I need a volunteer to tell me the same. Who wants to practice in this school? Uh, okay, in this case, I'm going to choose, let me see. Uh, Kevin Eduardo, can you tell me, please? Hello, Kevin, are you there? Can you tell me with this activity? Kevin, can you listen to me? Hello, 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 can you listen? Can you listen to me? Ah, si te pueden escuchar, me te confío, por favor, si pueden escuchar. Creo que se corta la señal, teacher, porque por rato se escucha como que se escucha como robot. Creo que le Ah, eh, pero está lloviendo ya fuerte acá, ¿verdad? 
no sé si ustedes viven, está lloviendo también. I don't hear well. Okay. ¿Me escuchan ahora? Sí, ya se empieza a escuchar un poco mejor. Yo, yo no escucho, teacher. Yo, yo no escucho. Abigail no escucha nada. No. Vamos a hacer, vamos a responder con qué frecuencia hacemos estas actividades. Eso sería, ah, ¿sí? sí, esa es la actividad, pero se tiene que decir oración. Ok. Um, I am exercise every day. Okay, that is a good sentence. I exercise every day, yes. Claudia, tell me. Good evening. Uh, I never practice sports, but I sometimes swim. Very good sentence. Thank you so much. Anyone have another sentence? I mean, I never practice a sport and always check your, my cell phone. Thank you very much. Excellent sentences. Anybody? Anybody in a sentence? Ana Gabriela, tell me. I, I never go to the gym, but I always check my cell phone. Thank you so much. Excellent sentence. The last one. The last one here. Me, teacher. Okay. Tell me, sir. I usually watch TV. Very good sentence, thank you. Now it's time for practice in the following conversation. Um, okay, let's go to this conversation. Necesito dos voluntarios en esta parte. Who volunteers? Who wants to participate? Yeah. Okay, I have Claudia and... Me, yeah. teacher. Yeah. Claudia, okay, I that. Claudia, you are going to be A. Alita, you are going to be B. Can you please start? I don't need to see her. ¿Con quién me tocó? No escuché bien, disculpen. Con so, Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Do you ever play sport? Sure, I play shows. I play so week twice a week. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No, har I hardly ever do aerobics. Thank you so much. That was perfect. I need another two volunteers. Abel, Abel wants in. What to practice, to practice with Abel? No. 
Ok, tengo a Abel, otro voluntario para practicar. Me. Thank you, Abigail. So, Abel, you are A, Abigail, you are B. Ok. Do you ever play sports? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you usually do on Saturday Monday? Nothing. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Do you often do aerobic at the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Okay. Thank you so much. The last two volunteers in this part, the last two volunteers, players. And I think of two. Two people more, and we are done in this part. One more, please. Okay, I'm going to let you some of them. Choose. Thank you. Thank you. Flor Ramos, can you please help Ana? Sorry. Flor, you are A. Ana Gabriela, you are B. Okay. Do you ever play sport? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I always, I almost always sleep until noon. Do you often do aerobics and the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Exercise, okay? No, I never exercise Sundays. What do you usually do after class? You don't want to participate. Please, 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 Lo demás me pueden escuchar. ¿Qué me dice? Poquito, teacher. Se escucha bien, despacio. Es que por rato se escucha así como entrecortado y luego se escucha fuerte y luego se baja y así está como que... Tiene Pero no se entiende cuando... Sí, se escucha un ratito, sí. Quitaron el micrófono y luego le dieron, se lo dieron nuevamente. Um, ok, I understand. What about in this moment? Ya se está calmando la lluvia un poquito. Ya bien? se escucha. Ah, ya me escuchan mejor. Sí. sí, ya se está calmando la lluvia. Está fuerte acá. So, let's practice in this conversation. Ok. Ok, teacher. Aida, Aida Wines. Ok, yes. that is excellent. Thank you so much, Aida. Lady A. Ah, you are a letter A. Yes. Any other volunteer to practice with her? Okay, Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. So I have Aida and Claudia. Claudia, you are B. Okay. Do you always exercise on Sundays? No, I never exercise on Sundays. What do you usually do after class? I go out with my classmate about three times a week. Oh, awesome. That was excellent. Thank you for your participation. I need another two volunteers. Take advantage of the practice, please. Anybody want to practice? Let me know, please, if you want to participate in this part of the class. Me. Uh, thank you, Abigail. Anyone? Me, teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Abigail, you are A. So, Mara, you are going to be to read B part, please. Do you always exercise on Sundays? 
No, I never exercise. On Sundays. What, on Sunday. What do you usually? I go out with my class about uh, three times. Week. Me la tapa la la pantalla. Uh, three times a week. Ah, okay, very good. So times three times a week. Classmates. I go out with my classmates about my three times a week. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's come back to this exercise. Let me show you the next. You have here the following activities, right? How often do you? How often do you cook, dance, go shopping, travel, watch a movie, play soccer, read a book, and swim? So you have to tell me complete sentences, right? How often do you? And then you say, uh, here I have the frequency adverb. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, right? Always is uh, 100% of times. El 100% de las veces, that is always, siempre. Usually, it's like 80. Uh, usualmente, often, like 50. Sometimes, like 40. Hardly ever, like 20. And never, 0%, right? Um, those are the frequency adverbs. So we have to use them to make complete sentences in this part. So you say, I always cook. I never cook. I often cook. I sometimes cook. I always dance. I never dance. And in this way with the other activities there. So who wants to start? Any volunteer to tell me complete sentences with these activities? How often do you cook, for example? Let's start with this. How often do you cook? Xiomara, how often do you cook? Hello, Xiomara, can you listen to me? How often do you cook? Hi, este. Sometimes. Ah, okay, complete sentence. I sometimes cook. I sometimes cook. Excellent now. Very good. So, Claudia, how often do you dance, Claudia? I never dance. Ah, okay, I never dance. Thank you so much. And Gabby, how often do you go shopping, Gabby? I hardly ever. Uh, no, mm, sorry. I go to the shopping uh, sometime. Okay, very good. That is excellent. Está correcta la oración. Recuerde, sometimes tiene tres posiciones. Al principio de la oración, antes del verbo y al final. Excellent. Thank you, Ana. Abel, how often do you travel? Abel, are you there? How often do you travel? I never travel. Okay, excellent sentence. I never travel. Then let's see, Aida, how often do you watch a movie? Sometimes. Oh, complete uh, sentence. I Sometimes I watch a movie. I sometimes watch a movie. Very good. Thank you. Um, let me see. Let's choose another person. Let's go to participant and let's choose a Flor Ramos. How often do you play soccer, Flor? I never play soccer. Excellent sentence. I never play soccer. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Joana Maria Hernandez. How often do you read a book?
How I often do you read a book? A book? A book? Okay, I sometimes read a book. Excellent. Let me see and let me... Okay, any volunteer to answer the last one? How often do you swim? How often do you swim? Okay, tell me. However, do you swim? Ah, okay. So the, I hardly ever swim. I, I hardly uh, ever swim. Okay, excellent. Now that is the sentence. I hardly ever swim. Okay, nice. So do you have any question? I'm sorry, right uh, for the for the audio, but it it's rain a lot here, right? I apologize for that. But I couldn't do anything to improve the quality of the audio. I'm sorry. Solo espero que no llueva mañana, ni pasado mañana. Teacher. Yes. Eh, eh, Podría solamente repetirme nuevamente que casi no escuché bien lo de la, el, la regla, que cuando vamos sujeto, adverbio de frecuencia, more ver. This one, more, this, is, this yes. structure. Okay, uh -huh. so position in a sentence of Arabic or frequency. Uh, frequency adverb. First, we need a subject. It could be okay. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. After the subject, we are going to write the adverb of frequency. Después del sujeto va la adverb de frecuencia. Then okay. we are going to write the verb. Después escribimos el verbo. And then the complement. Y por último, el complement. This is the structure that we are going to follow. Subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. Okay. okay. In, the, in the case of the third person, let's say, for example, he never plays baseball. Aunque lleve adverbio de frecuencia, siempre vamos a tener que escribir la S en las terceras personas. He, she, and it. Okay? Don't forget okay. about that. So he never plays baseball. Do you have any question about today's class? No, thank you. No questions? No. no. Okay, no, good. Good. thank you. Okay, so we have this activity missing. We are going to do it tomorrow. So don't forget to complete the exercises on the platform. Thank you so much. And see you tomorrow, right? Have a good night. It was nice to meet you tonight. Thank you so much for your participation. I have Abel, Claudia, Aida, Ana, Xiomara. You are doing great, right? So Abigail too. Uh, participate, right? Participate in the class and solving these exercises. Uh, tomorrow you are going to practice with your classmates. Vamos a hacer pequeños grupos para que usted pueda platicar con sus compañeros, okay? So thank okay. you so much and have a nice night and see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good evening. Bye. Bye.